What I have here is the Soto Navigator Cook Set. I've been testing this out for quite a while now, almost a year, and I'm ready to share with you my thoughts, the pros and cons of this system. This is from the Japanese company Soto. I've reviewed a number of their products, and with all of them, I have been impressed. I'm impressed with this kit as well. It's not perfect though, and we'll talk about that later on in the review. So folks, let's get started taking a look at the Navigator Cook Set from Soto. This is the cook set itself. As you all can see, it's round in nature. You have the storage bag on the outside. It has a draw pull, mesh top, fabric bottom. The first component is the top lid. You have drainage holes, you have a pull tab, and you have a notch right here. And that is so that you can use the pot grabber. Then you have this. We'll come back to this in just a second. Let's focus on the large pot. This is an 1800 milliliter aluminum pot. This cook set is primarily aluminum. Looking at the smaller system, you have a draw pool, mesh top, fabric bottom, but this is different than this storage bag. You have the lid. The small lid is exactly the same as the big lid. You have the pool tab, drainage holes, pot grabber hole or notch. You have the smaller 1300 milliliter aluminum pot. Focusing on the storage bag for the smaller pot, this is also a cozy, and this will keep your food six times warmer with this than without it. This here is the thermal disc. When your pot is inside of the cozy, you put the lid on and then put the thermal disc on top. Additionally, everyone, you have this component here. This is a microfiber cloth. On the inside, you have the pot grabber. And that's so you can pick up the hot pots just like so. When it comes to the weight of this kit, you're looking at 16.7 ounces. With the large pot and lid, that is 6.8 ounces. The smaller pot with lid is 5.2 ounces. The cozy, the thermal disc, that is 1.7 ounces. The bag and the pot grabber, that is 1.2 ounces. And that right there is the component breakdown, folks. That is what you get with this system. So you have the two pots, you have the two lids, you have the cozy, the thermal disc, and you have the storage bag. The company states that you can use each of these lids as a cutting board, and technically that is true. You certainly could. These are made from resin, by the way. When the kit is stowed in the storage bag, you're looking at seven and a half inches by 3.6 inches for the entire kit. So as far as dimensions go, it's not a big kit by any means, but what it offers you is quite a bit of versatility as far as your cook set goes. Of course, you would have to add your own cup to the cook set because what you have here are two pots and that's it. Now with this cook set, because you have so much space in the smaller pot, you could stow more than just the pot grabber. You can stow a stove and also a small gas canister inside of this. I like to keep my stove and a washcloth in here with the pot grabber. Yes, you can get a gas canister to fit inside of here too, but it's like playing Tetris. It has to be just right. Most of the time, I just throw the gas canister inside of my pack and call it done, but it will fit. And of course, that is for the smallest size gas canister out there. Speaking of stoves for a second, this is what I've been using lately. This is also from Soto. A viewer sent this to me. My friend, thank you so much. You are awesome and you are appreciated. This is the Windmaster, and this is an awesome little stove. And it works perfectly with the Soto Navigator set. You guys have seen the cook set, you've seen it in action. Let's go over the pros and cons, starting with the pros. First off, the build quality of this kit is excellent. It really is. This is a nice kit. For $70, that's the price, you get two pots, you get the cozy, you get the pot grabber. In my opinion, for the money, the quality is here. This is a well-designed system that can be scaled to use any way that you want to. You can bring one pot, leave the other behind. You can basically mix match the components and use what you need. And you can also add to it to make the cook set that you need for the adventure that you're going on. For an example, you can add a stove, a gas canister, so on and so forth. Cheers, my friends, cheers. It is coffee time. So the quality is good. The design is good. This is a versatile little kit here that has just about all the features that you would expect with a cook set. The pot sizes are excellent. You can use this with a group or go solo. You have plenty of options here. The pot cozy does work. Also, it should be mentioned, there is a handhold down on the bottom of this pot cozy. With the pot grabber, it works 
perfectly. This is very well designed. It features a spring on the inside that causes the action to open up so you don't have to fiddle with it. You grab it, you use it. Not all pot grabbers are this way. Some lack that spring and they could be a real pain in the ass to use, but that's not the case here. Overall, the kit is light. The bottom of the pots are slightly coarse and that makes them non-slip, which is also a nice feature. You have the strainer lids, you have the holes for the pot grabbers, the pot grabber notch, in other words. The next pro that I have for this cook set is that each one of these pans are large and you can use these as frying pans and they do a great job in that capacity. And lastly, folks, the value is here. This is a $70 cook set, which compared to many offerings is much cheaper than what's out on the market. I say that as a pro, but let's flip over to the con. There are Chinese companies that offer massive cook sets that are much cheaper than this, that feature many more components. So while compared to the name brands, this is a good bargain. Compared to some of the Chinese offerings that are out there, this is expensive. And that's the flip side. Let me put it this way. If you go out looking, you can find more for the money than this set. Now, with that being said, this is very well thought out. The quality is top notch and it is a versatile kit. Now, the next con that I have is a big one. So you see the lid here, you can see this little pot grabber, right? I do not like these. I do not like these pot grabbers. I don't like the placement of these pools here. They should be in the center. And this is why. When you go to pull the lid off of your pot, you pull it up, the bottom here goes into the pot and the steam comes up and it burns your fingers. So you have to do this very, very quickly. But you also have to be careful because you don't want to knock the system over. So you have to pull up and pull away to prevent your fingers from getting burned. It should not be this way. The tab should be in the center and you could just grab it and pull the lid off. Unfortunately, that's not the case. So while the lid is good in general, these pools suck, they really do. As far as cons go, that's pretty much it everyone. You have the price and you also have these pools on the lids. All in all, this is a very good kit that I can easily recommend. For the money, this is an awesome set. It really does work well with other Soto products such as the Windmaster stove. Talking about this stove, I'm still testing this out, but let me tell you, this thing is a beast. It is super, super fast. I mean, it really is impressive. I wanna get this up against the MSR Pocket Rocket 2 to see which one is faster. I think it might be this one, I do, but we shall see. So for $70, this is what you get with the Navigator cook set. I wanna hear from you all. What do you all think about this system? Soto is a company that has earned a good reputation around the world. I hear from viewers all the time. They love their products. In fact, I've never heard anybody say anything really negative when it comes to Soto, about Soto. While they do have a small footing here in the US, over in Japan, they are extremely popular and they have a wide range of really cool products. In fact, they have a butane lantern that is really, really cool. I have that as well. I imported that, I've been testing it out. It's pretty sweet, it really is. I really do like this set, everyone. The only issue, the biggest issue, are the pull tabs. They are terrible. I mean, I cannot begin to tell you all how many times I have burned my fingers by pulling up. It goes in and up just like that. So you really have to be careful. You have to do it really quickly. So pull and lift. Otherwise, you will get burned. In my opinion, that is a flaw for this system. It really is. But the drainage holes, all that stuff works great. You can use these lids as cutting boards. That's a little bit of a stretch, but it does work. The Cozy will definitely keep your food, whatever it is that you're heating up, you've cooked. It will keep it warm for a long time. Again, everyone, make sure to comment down below. I wanna read your thoughts and opinions about this set and also about Soto in general. What are your thoughts and experiences with the company? Make sure to hit the like button, support if you want to. Everyone, take care, strength and honor. I will see you all in the next upload. Bye for now. Get off me, man. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> Just the way I like it.